So for this video, I'll be using yarn in two different colors and I'll be using a crochet hook in size 3.75 millimeters. So we'll start by making a slip knot, then we'll chain 7, we'll join these two ends with a slip stitch. chain 4 then we'll make 15 triple crochets in this loop so 1 2 3 4 Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So now we have 15 triple crochets and one four chain space. So that would be 16 triple crochets in total. Now we'll join these two ends with a slip stitch. So right here on this fourth chain, we will make a slip stitch. Now we'll chain four. And right here on the same chain, we'll make one triple crochet. Chain one. In the next chain, we'll make two triple crochets. Then we'll chain one, then in the next chain we'll make two triple crochets. Chain one, in the next chain we'll make two triple crochets. Chain one, in the next chain we'll make two triple crochets. So we'll repeat this until we get at the end of this row. So now that we are at the end of this row, we'll chain one, then we'll make a slip stitch right here on this fourth chain. Chain one, then we'll cut the yarn. Now we'll insert our hook into the same chain, and then we'll change the yarn. Now we'll be working through this post. So in the next chain, we'll make a slip stitch and then we'll chain three. And now we make three double crochets through this post. Right here, through these triple crochets from our first row, we'll make one single crochet. And now we make four more double crochets through this next post. So it'll be one, two, three, and four. And then right here through this one chain space, we'll make two double crochets. We make four double crochets to the next triple crochet post. And 
Now we make one sewing crochet through these triple crochets from our first row. Now we make four double crochets to the next triple crochet post. Through this one chain space we make two double crochets. Then through this triple crochet post we will make four double crochets. Through this triple crochets from our first row we will make one single crochet. Through the next triple crochet post we will make four double crochets. Through this one chain space we'll make two double crochets. Now through the next post we'll make four double crochets. Through these two double crochets from our first row, we'll make one single crochet. Through the next post, we'll make four double crochets. Through this one chain space we'll make two double crochets. Through the next post we'll make four double crochets. Through these triple crochets from our first row, we'll make one single crochet. Through the next post, we'll make four double crochets. Through the next one chain space we will make two double crochets. Through the next post we will make four double crochets. Through these triple crochets from our first row we will make one single crochet. Through the next post we'll make four double crochets. Through this one chain space we'll make two double crochets. Through the next post we'll make four double crochets. Through these treble crochets from our first row, we'll make one single crochet. Through the next post, we'll make four double crochets. Through 
Through this one chain space, we'll make two double crochets. Through the next post, we make four double crochets. Through these triple crochets, my first row will make one single crochet. Through the next post, we'll make four double crochets. Through this one chain space, we'll make two double crochets. Then through this three chain space, we'll make a slip stitch. Chain one, then we'll cut the yarn. And after we weave these ends in, we'll end up with something like this. Yeah, I know, it's beautiful. This is how this flower looks from the wrong side. And this is how it looks from the right side. So that's all for today guys. Thanks for watching.